it is another windy day so I'll try to speak up hope you can stay with me on this I took the pipes out of my bucket my front end loader uh, if you've seen very many of my videos you know that there was a pipe in here that uh, I slid another pipe into and locked it in with a bolt for uh, forks on my front end loader. It worked well. Uh, the forks bent a little bit. Uh, these uh, places where it's weld had a little L piece welded on there up and uh, welded to the pipe and they broke a couple of times. had to re-weld, put another plate on it, another uh, piece of angle iron on it. So uh, that and I lost um, uh, two, two things I didn't like about it was the, the fact that when I would scoop up dirt, the pipe that was in here would just get plugged up with dirt because as I'm scooping, dirt is just getting shoved up in it. And that was a pain in the butt to clear out, so I didn't like that. Also, it left me, it didn't, I, I didn't have a smooth bucket where I could put things in if I needed to, uh, maybe to transfer uh, some things. So I, I, I wanted the pipes out, so I did this. So this is the way... I figured out a way to make my uh, rear tie, rear um, three-point hitch uh, hay fork to make that my front forks because I still want to have forks on the front end loader. There is nothing more handy than forks on the front end loader. Man, if you don't have one, you need to try this. So uh, I figured out something yesterday. Let me show you how it works. Again, going to be a little windy, sorry about that, but today is windy, about 20, 25, 35 mile an hour winds, and I, but I got to put this on, I want to show you it while I'm putting it on so I don't have to do it again. Okay, we're going to slide the fork up in here, things are heavy too. So what I have is uh, a couple of pieces of chain, got a hook on one end and a little D-ring on the other end. I need a little bit bigger one for my ratchet straps and I'll show you why. But this is about a three foot piece. Uh, your bucket size is different. You're going to have to measure on your own, but uh, this works for me, about, about uh, three foot piece of chain. Okay? Hook it on the there bring it around the back got the bucket lifted up now let me show you how to put the straps on these are heavy duty straps uh, I didn't buy them I got them with hook, got a bolt running through the top bank here, hook it to that, strap it down a little bit, tighten it not all the way until I do the other one. on there. I picked up 
Uh, some pretty good sized trees yesterday. So I know it works and works well. Now the reason I said I would rather have a, a bigger D-ring here is because the way this is hitting is kind of from the side because these are too wide uh, to go in the, the very end of this. Where, In other words, where this chain could be pointing more up than sideways, it has to hit it from the side. So I, I'll, I'll buy me a, a little bit bigger D-ring, a little wider, so these uh, so this hook will, will hook straight up instead of off, kind of get canted off to the side. But it works great. Now. The straps are, uh, again, from my ratchet rake. Uh, I really like that ratchet rake. Um, there's some videos online. I'm gonna, uh, when I start clearing some land a little bit more, I will do, post a video myself of the ratchet rake. But uh, it's a very handy farm tool that you may wanna look at. Um, and again, I'm using, I'm doing double duty on these straps because I'm using them for the ratchet rake and I'm also using them for my fork. So this is pretty cool. Let me uh, pick it up and show you my, show you how it works. So to summarize, hook in the front of it goes around the bottom of the bucket, which which brings pulls it back this way. Make sure you got, you know, you pull it back this way, up against the back of it, and then the hook comes around the bottom. The chain comes around the bottom and hooks to the ratchet strap or the strap ratchet strap that uh, hooks to the top through that pin right there. Again, picked up some heavy, heavy stuff yesterday, and it worked like a charm. So, if you've got a hay fork and you don't have a front end loader fork, you need to do this. Front end loader fork is the handiest thing you'll ever have around your farm. So, I highly recommend it. Sorry about the wind, and uh, but that's just the way it is. We're we're in Texas. We got.